Hey everybody, it's Haley Hobson, and I wanted to introduce you to something that we've all been hearing about and are super excited about, it's essential emotions. And I wanted to, first of all, give a big thanks to Natalie and Andy Goddard and Sheree Burton, who actually presented most of, or created most of this PowerPoint presentation. And they're so awesome and so generous, and there's such great material in here, so I just want to give a big, huge shout out to them. So anyway, just a little bit about me as I begin this webinar. I am a presidential diamond, presidential blue diamond with doTERRA. And I like to think of myself as a kick-ass business guru. <laughs> I've built a great team with doTERRA and I really love, I'm so passionate about empowering other people to be successful with their business. And because of this, I wanna bring this PowerPoint to you in a very simple, easy way to present it because I want you to have success in your business if this is a method, modality of how you'd like to present the oils. So welcome you guys, I'm very excited about this webinar. And the reason it's super exciting for me is because it relates to a specific product line that I have been requesting for a while now actually. In fact, I remember sitting on a bus in Haiti talking to Dr. Hill for several hours about how I felt we were missing a little component of the essential oil blends around emotions and he kept winking at me and telling me he had stuff in the works but what would i like to see and i went through tons of emotions that i felt like came up not only within myself but also in all of you and the experiences that you were having whether it was getting through grief or learning to forgive somebody or whether it was simply like oh my gosh i gotta get off my butt and actually do my business right and he was either already in sync with me or he was listening because we've got it now. So it's all about emotions. And I think, I hope you think that that's pretty, emotion, that's pretty awesome too. These powerful surges of energy, which are emotions that every single one of us have determine the way that we feel every single second of the day. And so our emotions are very complex they're influenced by many different factors, such as our upbringing, our external environment, our thoughts, literally the food we eat, how old we are, and what gender we are, and lots more. So that's why emotional health is super important. And our emotional health is gonna have a major impact on the quality of our life. So I have an awesome presentation for you, like I said, and I want to, again, thank Natalie and Andy Goddard, who are Double Diamonds with doTERRA. And I also want to thank Sheree Burton, author, depression expert, and doTERRA Blue Diamond, and also Stacey Russin, researcher and educator in the language of emotions. I want to thank all of them very much for their support in creating this PowerPoint. So let's go take a look. Would you like to be more happy, connected, and empowered? I think so, right? The science behind emotion and essential oils, the tools and habits for healthy body chemistry and practical emotion wellness steps that you can take, take now are the three key components that we are gonna listen to today. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to use this presentation as something that you can learn about for yourself because I think it's gonna hugely benefit all of us but also so that you can take this information and present it to others and therefore have a huge impact, not only on others' emotional health, but on your business as well. So what we're created to do is function as a whole. And our mind, body, and our spirit are inseparably connected and they communicate with each other on a cellular level. So our body is made up of all of these different cells, very intelligent cells, and they're wired to restore our health. They're really pretty smart. This means that our body is in this brilliant design and wants to be balanced as a whole. It really does. So I invite you to learn about your body, your specific body today, and actually what it may be teaching you. I want you to learn how to be your own best advocate and claim the gift of your wellness. And I'm gonna give you an example of that because it just happened to me this morning. I've had a crazy two weeks, lots and lots and lots and lots of adrenaline and emotion. And I woke up this morning and I usually take my favorite exercise class of the whole week at 8.30. And I woke up and at 7.30, I just said to my husband, I'm not getting out of bed today. I am just completely drained. 
And not only was I exhausted, but it started to give me a few feelings of actually depression because I wasn't feeling like my normal self. But I decided I knew that I needed to nourish my body and I knew what that felt like and it gave me an empowered feeling to know that I was taking care of myself. And so that's what I did throughout the whole day today. Focus on foods that were going to help me feel nourished, focus on rest, focus on getting grounded, spending time with my family and not pushing myself out of my comfort zone. So I want you guys to really use this opportunity to get to know your body and listen to what it might be teaching you too. And I can guarantee that tomorrow I'm going to feel even more empowered. Anyway, to learn the language of our body, you need to know what emotions actually are and what they are communicating, right? Emotions are basically, they're just information. That's all they are. And they're carrying molecules that bind to and react with your cells. So they go into the cell and they impact function and behavior. In other words, emotions in their basic and smallest form are just chemical molecules. So in this image, you'll see that the cell is receiving these molecules on one of its receptors. And the receptors function like these little scanners, might like our eyes or our ears or our skin. And they gather this information and then they wait for a chemical to attach the message to. So this new information is received inside the cell, which then impacts your energy level, your behavior, and your mood. It's really kind of fascinating to discover how these emotions, just simply by binding to and reacting with cell receptors, get into our cells and impact our function and behavior. And our emotions are processed throughout our body. In fact, we really kind of have three brains in our body. Science reveals that there's this natural complex neuroprocessing function in the mind, in the heart, and in the gut. And I know that a lot of you know that we have it in our mind, and many of you know that we have it in our gut too. The gut has often been referred to as the second brain. But I want you to open your mind now to the fact that our heart is actually another third brain. And because emotions are chemical, they're not limited to the mind, right? They flow and they process. And science reveals that they're very complex neuroprocessing functions in all three places. And these three brains, so to speak, are neutral networks with independent memory and intelligence. That means that you can actually process different kinds of feelings in each of these brains. And you guys know that, right? Because sometimes your head is telling you something, but your gut is telling you something else, or your heart is telling you something completely different, right? Our mind is like a conductor, and it directs our body to feel emotionally and behave physically. And it actually directs about 90% of our behavior. And the heart then discerns this messages that our brain receives. And then the gut accordingly distributes health or illness to the rest of the body. So our, our, our gut feeling is actually really correct. And 90% and of the body's serotonin involved with mood management is produced in the gut. So how about that? So... When we have these three brains communicating with each other, they feed back into and then influence our mind. And that's a quote by Dr. Caroline Leaf, and she's a neurophysiologist. All right, so our three brains instinctively process every single experience. So let me walk you through again how that works. Do you ever feel like the woman in this picture, right? You've got your dog running on you, your baby screaming, your phone's ringing, so maybe somebody's at the door, your husband comes in and starts talking to you. How do you feel? This moment is immediately recorded in, in your subconscious mind. And in the next image, you can see how the brain sends its own message, right? I have to figure it out. The mind might think I have to figure it out. It's my responsibility overwhelm. But then the heart thinks, oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. And maybe I'm holding on to so much. And then the gut reinforces, oh, I feel stuck and you feel sick, right? I don't know what to do. So then a biochemical reaction actually occurs and you might feel conflicted, confused, maybe you get an upset stomach, maybe you get a headache. So these negative reactions are a consequence of conflicting messages that are going on which disrupt our internal balance. And this results in a dis 
connection or dis-ease, literally. And when we think and feel something simultaneously, a new belief is created. So in this example, when the woman concludes, I'm not good enough, we are always reinforcing old belief systems, or we have a choice to plant a new one. Nurturing a belief produces a new fruit, right? So if you have a belief that shows up in your life that's different, it can recreate your reality. reality. So what would you like to cultivate? Would you like to cultivate a seed or would you like to cultivate a weed? For me, I'd like to cultivate a seed. So essential oils can then become this incredibly effective emotional wellness tool. So this is a mood blend called balance on the left. And it's very calming and grounding to the central nervous system. It actually contains frankincense in it, which is a powerful cleanser and a magnifier that opens our mind's eye. So when you apply it on your forehead and it connects with the, our soul with its authenticity, it's really also applying on your heart. You get that? So emotions and oils interact chemically. And because both emotions and essential oils are chemically based, this powerful reaction occurs as they make contact in our body. And essential oils are also, as you know, very, very complex, which is why each oil is able to have so many uses and applications. Essential oils promote emotional purification and they anchor in our healthy biochemistry. This means that they're very efficient at detoxing the cell and restoring proper cell function. It's amazing how biocompatible essential oils are with our bodies. So I know a lot of you who already are using essential oils have wild orange. So if you can reach into your bag or on your desk or real quick go run for it and grab a bottle, take a moment to inhale this wonderful aroma. And this can be your chance if you're teaching a class to take an oil like, a, like wild orange out and introduce it to your class. Because wild orange invites connection in the body and stimulates energy. In fact, it's kind of funny. If you listen to this, I'll turn it on for a second. I had my diffuser on just a few minutes ago, diffusing wild orange so I could feel that great mood before I started this webinar. I've got it like in permo mode on my desk in my office. So many people love to put wild orange in the diffuser and diminish feelings of overwhelm in their environment. Why was I overwhelmed right now or feeling overwhelmed? Well, I've been a single mom all day, not feeling my best. And my daughter is sitting out on the front porch. I can see her right now. She has created a little desk where she's selling what she's calling holistic yummies. And she's got little snacks that she thinks somebody's going to come over and buy, even though we get no neighbors because we're living on the side of a mountain. But that's okay. So I want to make sure that she's doing okay. I want to make sure that this is the only maybe quiet time that I can record this. And I want to make sure it gets done before my husband and my other daughter come home, right? And so we all are dealing with those kinds of things on a daily basis. And when we use oils like a wild orange, it can help get over those feelings of overwhelm in our environment. Citrus oils like wild orange are great at uplifting our moods and promoting literally a toxic relief. I love drinking citrus drinks too. That's what I just took a sip of. <laughs> so one of the reasons essential oil molecules go cellular so quickly is because they're actually really molecularly dense. One drop has like 40 million trillion molecules. And these chemical compounds service every cell of the body in a matter of minutes. They're like all over the place as soon as you put a drop into a diffuser and start inhaling or into your skin and it comes, it, 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 it absorbs into your blood system. And because of their chemical complexity, essential oils promote emotional and physical detox. They help remove conflicting cellular messages and encourage the cells to restore themselves. And they support these cell receptors on the, on the surface of our cells. They support these receptor sites, reviving and enhancing them continuously. And that is one of the reasons why essential oils don't carry side effects. They go into the cell so efficiently 
after binding to the receptors on the cell surface. And this efficient process enhances the entire cell function. And also essential oils are able to restore and maintain the state the cell is in naturally and intelligently designed to embody. I'll say that again, essential oils are able to restore and maintain the state a cell is in naturally and intelligently, to the, 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 the state that the cell is naturally intelligently designed to embody, okay? So let's look at a picture right now of an essential oil sac. So I enlarged here, or actually the Goddard's enlarged here, a picture of an essential oil sac of a peppermint leaf. And just below it, you'll see, you'll see on top the peppermint leaf, and just below it the magnified peppermint leaf. So these oil sacs that are sitting on the surface of the peppermint leaf in this magnified photo are the volatile life force of the plants. Essential oils course through the plant as their lifeblood, helping the plant literally defend, nourish, and repair itself. So essential oils have the same function in a plant that they do for us, the same function as they do for the human body. And because our bodies are organic, we can experience very similar beliefs, excuse me, we can experience very similar benefits from essential oils that the plants do. So the quality and grade of an essential oil would determine its effectiveness. And since our oils are certified pure therapeutic grade, they're the safest, the purest to use to support the physical and emotional needs of your body. And the chemical compounds in this high level of pure oil, according to our standards, are friendly to the body's natural biochemistry. There are lots of other essential oils that are out on the market, and because of the way that they are grown, the soil that they're in, the sourcing procedures, the distillation procedures, and the testing, they are not the same, and they will not affect your body's natural biochemistry the same way. And that is why you want to use an essential oil, what we call Beyond Organic, CPTG, the Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. Yes, it's a trademark that we made up, but we had to because we needed to create a new standard. Okay, so now this is peppermint, and it's one of doTERRA's most popular oils. Physically, peppermint is really energizing. It's oxygenating. It supports brain focus. Emotionally, peppermint really dispels a mental fog. Either way, peppermint totally peps you up, right? So when you pour a drop in your hand, and if you have a bottle with you, why don't you just do that right now? I have a bottle right here also. Peppermint, citrus, bliss, wild orange, lemon, balance, or three of, or five of the oils that I actually keep on my desk at all times. So if you take your bottle of peppermint out and you put a drop in your hand, and you hold your hands together like a cup, and inhale, don't get it near your eyes, you begin to experience, oh my gosh, it's amazing, the peppermint aromatically. And it's really intense and it's very powerful. Sometimes I actually put a drop of the peppermint and wild orange together because the peppermint is so intense, the wild orange actually kind of tames it down a little bit. Sometimes I will put a little peppermint and balance together same effect okay so our smell is the fastest way to affect our mood our aromatic molecules have direct access to the limbic area or are the emotional seat of our brain and there are actually three ways to experience experience essential oils the first is aromatically and there's a reason why it's called aro aromatherapy like I said before, smell is the fastest way to affect mood, the quickest way to get into the deepest parts of our brain. And our sense of smell is way more complex than any other senses, including even our sight. There are smell receptors on every organ of the body. Did you know that every organ of our body can actually smell? As you inhale an essential oil, those aromatic molecules travel to the olfactory bulbs, which are linked directly to our emotional limbic seat of our brain. And that is how inhalation creates an immediate emotional impact. 
Essential oils are dynamic. They're shifting and changing intelligently as they interact with your body's biochemistry. You'll find that each and every essential oil has both physical and emotional components and applications. And again, this is because of the chemical complexity. So when you smelled peppermint, you may have experienced more focus or alertness physically. And you may have started to feel some of that brain fog begin to lift. I have to actually admit, I use peppermint every single morning. Not that this is like a secret. I don't mind admitting it. But I actually use peppermint every single morning when I wake up. I also put a couple drops in my smoothies. I have this like passion right now for chocolate smoothies like coconut milk and raw cacao and a banana and some peppermint oil and a little bit of uh, raw almond butter. It's amazing. Okay, so the second way that we can use essential oils is topically. And we can use this for emotional support as well. Essential oils are transdermal. And this means that the tiny molecules can pass through your skin and go right into your circulatory system. Applied anywhere on your body, essential oils will penetrate every cell. So here are some great tips for topical application to affect the three brains that we talked about on your body. Wherever you're holding occasional tension, you can massage an oil into that area for localized support. Over the heart area, inside the wrists, or the fleshy pockets of the ears helps our heart brain. On the back of the neck, across our forehead, and the bottoms of our feet affect our brain brain. Some essential oils, like frankincense that I mentioned earlier, even pass through the blood brain barrier. And for our gut brain, over the stomach areas or bottoms of the feet. And it's kind of funny because I consider myself a pretty intuitive person and I didn't know a lot about essential oils when I started using them. And as I'm reading this to you, I'm actually reminiscing about all the places that I, uh, thinking back to all the places that I apply my oils when I stand in front of my every oil kit every morning and every evening. And I do a really large combination of inside the wrists, behind my ears, on my heart area, across the back of my neck, on my forehead, bottoms of my feet, and on my stomach. So I really cover all of those three brains. Granted, I'm putting on like 10 oils at a time, but I'm doing it, but I am applying them all, all to, the, to those three brains. Okay, so let's talk about a topical blend like past tense. Past tense is a great blend for an occasional head tension or confusion. Physically, that's what it can be applied for. Occasional head tension. Emotionally, it can be a, it can be used for occasional emotional confusion. So apply some of that on the back of your neck or on your temples or along your forehead and see what you feel. I often use use past tense when I feel like a physical tension in my body, but I often rub it all over the back of my neck and even my shoulders and forehead where I feel like I'm also in a sort of emotional, confused, sort of foggy state as well. Now, the third way that we can use essential oils is internally and our CPTG labeled for, for, uh, for dietary use may be taken under your tongue, in water, or in a gel cap to support overall health. And again, I do all of the above. I take many different supplements that contain essential oils in them in gel caps. I always drop a drop of frankincense and slim and sassy under my tongue in the morning. And when I feel like I need it, like this morning when I was feeling a little bit physically fog fogged, I took a drop of Vanguard, Melaleuca, lemon, oregano, mixed it around in, a, in, a, in an ounce of water, gargled it, and swallowed it down. So let, that brings me to Onguard. <laughs> Onguard is a protective blend. It physically it protects the body against seasonal threats. Emotionally, it protects the body against environmental threats and actually promotes emotional boundaries. It can protect against feelings of vulnerability. How about that? So you could actually put a drop on the back of your hand and then lick it and then pass the bottle around to your friends and let them try it. So the essential oils that we've highlighted here are only a small sampling of the power essential oils have for maintaining physical and emotional well-being. All of doTERRA's 100 plus essential oils 
and blends have emotional and physical benefits. And in a few minutes, I'm actually going to go into some of the newer, what we call emotional new blends. But before I do that, I want to talk about cellular support for the three brains. As we discussed earlier, gut, brain, and heart health are interconnected. Essential oils are most powerful when combined with good nutrition, digestive health, and proper circulation. Our Lifelong Vitality Pack is a daily supplement trio that lays a strong foundation for both physical and emotional health. Why, you ask? Well, it provides an excellent source of minerals, micronutrients, and healthy, healthy fats. Together, these three supplements provide all three of our brains the daily cellular support they need for us to feel good. And I'm gonna say that in capital letters, feel good, emotionally and physically. The Exo Omega provides nine essential oils and omega fatty acids to the three brains, supporting our brain nourishment, our heart and circulatory health, and our digestive functioning. The Alpha CRS Plus contains potent antioxidants that promote chemical communication in cellular pathways. This is a great supplement all by itself. Microplex MVP is your vitamin and mineral supplement, and it provides optimal levels of micronutrients for immune function and energy. And don't even get me started about this. None of us are getting what we need daily from our diets these days. It's actually pretty much impossible. And we have other presentations from last year on the wellness pyramid and daily nutrient pack that you guys can go back to and review just to learn a lot more about these three bottles. They are incredible. And I have to say, I am in my 40s and I have been taking supplements on mostly off for my whole life. This is the only trio that I've ever never gone to bed with and never woken up and not taken because it has impacted me in such a significant way in all three hearts I would never forget it. Okay, gut cleansing restores clear thinking and improved moods. You guys know that. You always hear about winter detox, spring detox, fall detox, winter, uh, winter detox, right? What did I say? Winter, spring, fall, and summer, <laughs> right? We really should be detoxing, cleansing our bodies every at least quarter because our cleanse restores our gut health. And digestive function is scientifically linked to mood, right? Regular cleansing of the gut restores healthy physical function. But it's also necessary for clear thinking and mood management. When you have low digestive function, it's been scientifically linked with a low mood. So it's not just inhaling citrus bliss in our new mood pack. It's really important that you guys clean out your gut. Remember that 90% of your body's serotonin is produced in your gut. And the PB Assist contains pre and probiotics that help sustain healthy colonies of microflora and good bacteria in your gut. And this really helps to foster your nutrient uptake, your energy metabolism, your GI immunity. And then Terrazyme is a digestive enzyme that, that, that totally supports the conversion of your food itself to a cellular energy and healthy production of metabolic enzymes. Your GX Assist provides a natural but powerful cleanse of the GI tract. Lemon oil and Zendocrine also help support the body's natural ability to clean itself. So I've got this pack in my kitchen and I do every season go through the protocol of doing a gut cleanse. It's made a huge difference in my life. Now, that's a lot of information, is it not? So let's just take a breath for a moment and try to simplify, simplify things. You might be asking, where do I begin? 
Change is a gift that's always available to us. And if you're ready to feel better and experience more out of your life, you are in the right place because we just introduced six new mood blends. And I'm going to go through each of them individually in just a little bit. But, but featured here is the new aromatherapy wheel, a great tool to help support your mood at any given minute. Do you see how that you can literally zone in on, wow, I'm feeling apathetic, discouraged, gloomy, right? That might have been where I felt this morning. So maybe something like motivate and cheer were oils for me, right? Or I was feeling sort of like anxious or worried or insecure about them, the way that my body was feeling. So maybe I needed a little bit of peace, right? And again, I'll go into all of those in just a second, but this wheel is just a really easy way to figure out exactly what you need. And notice how there are six different types of plants that produce an essential oil to give support on their own unique, specific way. And how they grow is a lot like how they react in our body. Take, for example, the citrus oils. Citrus oils grow, or citrus plants grow in warm, sunny climates, elevated and high off the ground. So citrus oils are uplifting, they're elevating, they're happy oils. Another example are the tree oils. Trees are rooted deep in the earth. They offer a strong foundation for the plant to have strength and stability. So tree oils offer us the same properties they help us feel balanced, grounded, and secure. So what, how do we put this aromatherapy wheel to work? You identify what you're feeling now in this particular moment. Maybe you're feeling more than one thing. What speaks the loudest to you? Then choose one or two oils that best fit you. Like as I, as I mentioned before, there's, you know, I, I went through how I was feeling this morning, but what if you were feeling, maybe you were experiencing anger or bitterness, and you were having agitated feelings, right? I would place forgive over my heart if I were you on the insides of my wrist or across my forehead to help. Okay, let's just say that I lost a loved one and I'm in the grieving process. Which oil would I need next? That's right, console would be an excellent choice to offer that kind of support. And again, I would place a drop or two over my heart, on my forehead or temples, and inside my wrists. Becoming happy, connected, and empowered requires choosing healthy habits. Healthy mood habits create a healthy mood lifestyle. So as a first step, it's helpful to understand where you are now. So this is really like a quick assessment to help you understand how connected you are to your brain, your heart, and your gut, or how connected they are to each other. For each brain, simply put a check mark in the statements that seem to be true for you. So let's take a moment to do that now. The statements that you have check marked are the areas of strength, areas that celebrate, and areas that you want to continue to nurture, right? Like if you're looking at your healthy mind, do you work on healthy negative patterns? Do you choose to believe good about yourself and others? Do you nourish your brain with fats, good fats and minerals? The statements that you've checked are areas of strength, areas that you want to celebrate and continue to nurture. And the statements without a check may reflect healing gestures and opportunities for you to grow. For example, with a healthy heart, maybe you checked, I trust my intuition and my higher power, but you didn't check, I'm often very peaceful inside, I rest well. And you didn't check, I freely give and receive love. So maybe those are two areas that you want to work on. Do you get what I'm saying? So what do we need to weed out? Based on what you discovered, what you weed out, what is it that is what you really want to remove? It could be a negative thought. It could be a negative relationship. It could be a negative substance. For instance, I might have a thought pattern, I'm overwhelmed. I feel stressed. I personally hate the word overwhelm, so I'm going to look at my wheel, and I'm going to invite you to look at the aromatherapy wheel for clues as to some of your weeds. And what do you want to plant instead? It could be a new belief system, a new relationship, a new supplement. For example, 
I may want to plant the new belief. I am completely supported in every moment. So again, what would I do? I'd go to the aromatherapy wheel. I invite you to go to the aromatherapy wheel and identify the desired emotions. These may be the opposite hint, hint of the negative emotions. And then how will you nourish the seed? Nourishment includes habits, practices, and patterns. Personally, like I mentioned, I like to smell wild orange or diffuse wild orange as I anchor in my new belief system or citrus bliss. You'll also notice some tips below if you need some inspiration. As I am consistent, the fruit of my new belief is I am enough. I am whole. So as you claim greater wellness, remember you fill a bucket drop by drop. You fill a bucket drop by drop. You clear your mind thought by thought. You clear your mind thought by thought. You heal yourself moment to moment. Small and simple changes can yield great results. So now in this class, we've discussed practical emotional wellness steps that you can take as of now. And it's exciting for me and it's rewarding for me to offer this gift of change to others, not only so that you can feel well emotionally, but so that you can invite others to create new habits, habits as well, so that you can invite others to be their guide. So are you ready to begin creating these new habits? Are you ready to claim your gift of wellness? And are you willing to, are you ready and willing to give the gift of wellness? And as you've sat through, listened to this presentation, you might have asked yourself, which tools will I nurture in my healthy body chemistry? One of my favorite parts about doing what I'm doing is helping others get these beautiful emotional wellness tools into their home so that they can begin to use them day by day and moment by moment. So what do you think, you guys? How awesome was that? I'm sure you're super excited about this. And so I just want to look one more time at the aromatherapy kit. So let's go take a look, all right? This is doTERRA's new emotional aromatherapy kit. And as we know, these individual oils can be used with great effectiveness by skilled aromatherapists, but now we make it really easy. Aromatherapy is really easy and accessible to anyone dealing with common negative emotions with this new line of proprietary essential oil blends which represent six categories of emotional well-being. And it makes us very, it makes it very easy for us to use these oils to help with negative emotions. So let's take a look at the individual blends one by one within the kit. The first one is called Motivate. The ingredients, you can see them below. And what it helps, um, peppermint plant, clementine peel, coriander seal, basil herb, yuzu peel, melissa leaf, wow, rosemary leaf, and vanilla bean. And they promote feelings of confidence, courage, belief. They counteract negative emotions of doubt, pessimism, cynicism. You would apply them to your shirt collar before you give a speech to instill feelings of confidence or to the pulse points of your body before participating in events or other competitions. I actually just inhale, put them on my hands, rub them in, and use it as a daily way to deal with my day. Because I'm constantly counteracting negative emotions of doubt and pessimism by others. And I need a constant feeling of confidence, courage, and belief to get past all those naysayers. Okay, the next one is console. The aromatic description is it's sweet, musky, and floral. And its ingredients are frankincense resin, patchouli leaf, ylang ylang flower, labdanum leaf, amorous bark, sandalwood, rose flower, and osmanthus. And console promotes feelings of comfort and hope, counteracts negative emotions of grief, sadness, and hopelessness. And you can diffuse them in times of loss to help comfort the soul and evoke feelings of hope. Use one or two drops in your diffuser, place in your hands, and smell. The next blend is called Cheer. The aromatic description is it's fresh, it's spicy, it's warm. 
The ingredients are wild orange peel, clove bud, star anise fruit, lemon myrtle leaf, nutmeg kernel, vanilla bean extract, ginger, cinnamon bark. This oil promotes feelings of optimism. When you feel all those naysayer feelings, it counteracts negative emotions of feeling down, blue, or low. So diffuse it all day at your house, at work, or at school to pro promote a positive, uplifting environment and give you a cheerful boost of happiness and positivity when you're feeling down. The next one is forgive. The aromatic description is herbaceous, fresh, woody. The ingredients are spruce leaf, bergamot peel, juniper berry fruit, myrrh resin, arborvitae wood, nutka tree, lime, uh, excuse me, thyme leaf, and citronella herb. This is the one that I stick under my husband's face every time he gets mad at anything, including me, <laughs> right? It promotes feelings of contentment, relief, and patience. For all of you guys who are moms going crazy at home and your kids are driving you nuts, this is a good one for patience. It counteracts the negative emotions that you may be having of anger and guilt. So you want to diffuse this when you're meditating to help release harboring feelings of anger and guilt. And you can also put it on your pulse points and your heart throughout the day to feel grounded and content. Okay, this is one of my favorites, passion. I think passion and motivator are my two favorites. And this aromatic description is spicy, warm, and rich. And I just love the smell of the cinnamon bark, the ginger, the clove bud, the sandalwood, <coughs> excuse me, jasmine flower, vanilla bean in, uh, extract, cardamom, damiana leaf in it. And you can diffuse it in the morning to start your day feeling energized, enthusiastic, or apply it to your pulse points and heart throughout the day to feel inspired and passionate. You can diffuse it at work to spark more creativity, clarity, and wonder in your day. It literally ignites feelings of excitement, passion, and joy. And peace is a blend that I actually feel like I was already using at night. <laughs> There's a couple of new things in here that I wasn't including in my blend, but I was always using vetiver, lavender, ylang ylang, frankincense, clary, sage, and now they've added marjoram, lab labdanum leaf, and spearmint herbs. This oil is divine, and it promotes feelings of peace, reassurance, and contentment. It counteracts anxious and fearful emotions. It's great to diffuse at night to promote a calming environment and restful sleep. And you can even diffuse it or inhale it before taking a test or presenting to a large group or at times where you might feel worried or distressed. So let's be honest, you guys. This is pretty awesome, wasn't it? What's next? So what you can do next is you can get yourself a kit and you can use the same webinar, the same description, the same class to present to your friends, to get them on their loyalty reward program or as an enrollment with a wholesale account with doTERRA, right? All of these oils are available October 1st, 2015. So by the time most of you are listening to this, it's either right around the corner or right there in your shopping cart. Congratulations. Go get yourself a kit. Practice the skills that we learned today. And I want to give one more huge shout out to my friends who did such an awesome job with this presentation. The, literally, the PowerPoint themselves was divine and beautiful. Natalie and Andy Goddard. Double Blue Diamonds with doTERRA, Sheree Burton, an author, depression expert in doTERRA Blue Diamond, and Stacey Rawson, researcher and educator in the language of emotions. Thank you guys for sitting here and letting me present this wonderful material to you. I think that this kit and these emotional, this emotional education is going to change the future and change the way that we can help others. If you need anything else from me, my name is Haley Hobson. You can find me on my website, HaleyHobson.com, on Facebook, Haley Hobson Health Coach, on Twitter, Haley Hobson, on Pinterest at Haley Hobson69, and on Instagram at Haley Hobson. And I'm always trying to come up with fresh, new, great content that I can share with you to help you understand more about the oils, all of them, 
and help you be more successful in your business. Again, thank you very much, and I will see you guys online.